It's not your regular nine to five job. Hi, my name is Eva Prendergast and I am a graduate engineer at Analog Devices. I chose an engineering career path because I'd really, really loved maths and physics, applied maths when I was studying Leaving Cert. Decided from there to study engineering in college. I was trying out the different modules in undenominated engineering and didn't enjoy civil <laughs> by medical, but electronics was the one for me as I really enjoyed the coding aspect to it, but also being able to debug the hardware that you're working on when you're coding. My favorite part about my role is that I get to work on software and hardware on the projects that I work on, um, whether that be through design evaluation or as a quality engineer. I'll come in and I'll do my emails and go to my meetings, and then I will write a bit of code and then be able to actually see how that code responds on the hardware that I'm working on also. So I really enjoy being able to do software and hardware and understand how the code that I write responds on the hardware that I'm working on, take out a multimeter, probe it at the different points and understand the effect of the code that I write and how to control the hardware. Female students sometimes get encouraged towards um, biological sciences, towards healthcare, medical, field and then those students would also have a want to show that they care and how they can make a difference with their strong interest in STEM. But unfortunately sometimes these students get overlooked for an engineering career but there is more than one way to help people and you can use your engineering career to solve the problems in the world today. Design the solution as opposed to coming with the cure at the end of it. So that's a really big way that I hope that people understand that they can use their engineering career to make a difference in the world, not just through um, healthcare, biological sciences, but also through their interest in maths and technology, and they can show that they can care that way. One of the misconceptions maybe about what an engineer's job looks like is to begin with that there are such a variety of types of engineers that there can be no generic description of what an engineer's job looks like. Even within the microelectronics engineers, there are such a variety of roles and each of those roles are different. Everybody who comes in to work at ADI every day has a different set of challenges that they solve. So for anyone who's thinking about studying engineering, has an intellectual curiosity and wants to understand how things works, I think that um, the microelectronics industry would be for them. Thank you.